Okay, for this project, I am using Lion Brand Heartland, which is just a uh, medium weight four ply acrylic yarn. So, any type of like four ply yarn <clears throat> that you have will work just fine. You probably just want to make sure it's a little bit on the softer side. And the color I'm using is Redwood. And there are, let's see here, 251 yards in this skein. And you're going to need about 500 yards of this yarn. Uh, I'm making this for like a newborn, newborn baby size. So. And I'm going to be using a size H, which is a, a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start off with the chain of 40. And once you got your chain of 40, I'm going to go ahead and double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So one, two, three, four. Go ahead and double crochet into that fourth stitch. And now we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this. All the way down. Okay, once you make it to the end, what you want to do is chain one and turn your work. Okay, now these cables are not, they're not hard, so please don't be intimidated by them. Once you get the hang of it, they're actually pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and double crochet right here in this very, very first stitch. Double crochet right in that very first one. Like that. And then we're going to double crochet in the next four. So counting this one, we'll have a total of five double crochets in a row. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do a cable. What we're going to do is we're going to skip these three stitches and we're going to work a front post triple crochet in these three. So I'm going to yarn over twice, skip the, these three stitches, and start in the fourth one here. And I wrapped twice around my hook for the triple crochet. I'm just going to, it's the same thing as a regular triple, but I'm just going to go and I'm going to do it around the post of the stitch. And now I'm just going to pull through and I'm going to go ahead and do my triple crochet where I yarn over two, yarn over and go through two, and yarn over and go through two. So that's a front post triple. It's the same thing as a triple except for doing it in the top. You do it around the post. So I'm going to do a front post triple again in the next stitch. So I'm going to wrap twice, go around the post, and triple crochet. And now one more time for a total of three in a row. I'm going to wrap twice and go around the post. And then triple crochet. So there's my three front post triple crochets. Now I'm going to do three front post triple crochets again, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it in the three that I skipped, starting the very first one. So here's the three that I skipped. So starting in this on this very first post, I'm going to do a triple crochet. So it's just a little bit kind of awkward to go back, but go back, 
and go around that first post and triple crochet and then all you gotta do is just kind of look sometimes your stitches get lost but just pull them around and look and you can see I have these two to go still so I'm gonna go to the next one right here and front post triple crochet one you can see it right here doesn't have anything around it so I'm gonna go ahead and front post triple crochet around that post just like that and then you can kind of just straighten them out a little bit now I'm gonna do one double crochet in each of the next five stitches so going through the top of the stitch now so I'm not I'm not going around a post Double crochet. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. Now I'm going to do this again. So I'm going to skip these three posts and I'm going to do front post triple crochets around these three posts. So I'm going to go ahead and start by wrapping twice, skipping these three, going in around the post, doing there's my first triple, and then I'm going to go to the next one. Two triples and then my next one three triples again I'm gonna back it up and I'm gonna go and do front post triple crochets around these three posts that I skipped starting with this one way back here so I'm gonna yarn over reach all the way around Triple crochet around the post. So one. Just kind of move your stitches around and look. There's the other two I have to do. Two. And there's my last one. And three. Straighten it out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next five stitches again. Going in the tops, not around the posts. There's one. Two. Three. four and five again I'm going to do this cable one more time so I'm going to skip these three posts and do front post triple in these three so just go ahead and repeat what we've been doing for the posts and three and then you just back it up and go around the three that you skip starting with the very first one Two, 
to and three. Something like that. I kind of just straighten them up a little bit. Now I'm going to finish out by putting one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. You see there's one, two, three, four, and then this chain on the end. We'll do a double crochet in the top of that. We'll count as the last double crochet. One, two, three, four, and then the chain on the end. Just kind of go on the top of it here. And then I'll count as our fifth double crochet, like that. Okay, now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now I'm going to kind of do similar to what we did before, but we're going to be doing back post double crochets this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting one double crochet in each of these first, each of these first five stitches. Starting with this very, very first one here. So, go ahead and double crochet. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to be working around the post of these stitches, but we're going to be working back post triple crochets, which is the same thing that we just did, except for we're going to be working from the back. But this time we're actually, we're not going to be crossing over like we did in before. We're just going to <clears throat> start with this one and work our way, those three, and then these three. So what I'm going to do is yarn over twice and I'm going to see this post here instead of going like this the front post I'm just going to go in it from the behind like this and then back through and you can see the post is on the back of my hook and then I'm going to triple crochet that keeps it lined up in the front back posts are a little bit more tricky harder to get used to but once you do they're easy so I'm going to go to the next one which you can see right here I'm going to yarn over twice to prepare for the triple and go right through the back from the back side and you can see my hook when I turn it around is on the post from the back and I'm going to go ahead and finish out my triple crochet. Okay I have another one here in that set you can see it right here and when you turn it over you can see it from the front right here. So I'm going to yarn over twice, go in from the back, back around, and triple crochet. Just like that. So we got our first three done. You can see they're, they've kept in line with the three from the previous row. Now I'm going to work these three right here, starting with this one. So these kind of just went in order, those three, and then these three. So I'm going to triple crochet from the back of this post, like that. And go to my next one, which was right here. Triple. And then my last one, which is right here, and you can see it when you flip over. And triple crochet around it. Just like that. And when you flip it over to look, you can see that the posts are how they're supposed to be. They cross and over. Okay, now I'm going to do one double crochet in each of these next five double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, and five. Now I'm here where my uh, cable is and I'm going to do the same thing again with the back post triple crochets and I'm going to start with the ones here in front first. This one, this one, and then this one. And then I'm going to go to this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to start by triple crocheting from the back. Like that. and three and now you come to these three back here starting with this one front post triple crochet or sorry back post triple crochet around those three sorry if it's allowed in the other room my kids are in there playing cars or something rolling them on the floor it's one thing I learned about doing these videos is I, I just I can't keep my kids quiet so I just in the beginning I gave up on it I, I'm not gonna make them be quiet anyways while I do this they're just kids so they got a lot of energy they gotta burn okay there's that okay now i'm just going to continue with the same pattern across so i'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next five stitches one two three four and five and now I'm going to do my back post triple crochets the way I just did them before starting with this first one go around it from the back and the more rows you do the easier it's going to get and the better the cable will start to look start to look more like a cable when it gets bigger go back and do these three now finish it out by doing one double crochet in each of these last stitches so there's five of them one two three four five one double crochet in each of them one two three four and you just want to keep repeating those last two rows. Go and do an, um, the front post triple crochets. And then when you do the back, when you flip it over, it's the back post triple crochets. So it's just back and forth. Every time you're in the front, you do the front. Whenever you're in the back, you're in the back. And you want to do it for a total of 57 total rows is what I did. And it doesn't have to be exactly that. You can make it bigger if you want for you know for a bigger child or whatever but you just want to make sure that you end your last row is a back post triple crochet row because that'll end it and make it look <clears throat> pretty neat up here 
And after you get that done, you just go ahead and clip that, that yarn off and you can hide that tail if you want. And now I'm going to sew the top together for the hood next. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do that with a piece of yarn and just my yarn needle. Get me a piece of yarn out of here. Okay. You can actually sew either side that you want. I mean the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter, but I'm sewing Okay, I'm going to sew the hood together like this. I'm going to put my right side facing me, the good side. And I'm just going to grab the two ends of either side. It doesn't matter if you use the top or the bottom of your big piece. I'm going to sew this tail in in a little bit, but put them together like this. And then I'm going to use my yarn needle and sew across the top here. Now, I suppose if you wanted to use a single crochet or slip stitch, this together you could do that too but I'm gonna kind of line it up all the stitches up here and take my needle and just sew it together and forth and I'm going to do this all the way across And this is going to form the hood. So the hood's really easy to make. And I'm going to do this all the way down to the end. Okay, when you get to the end, like I am, if you feel like you want to go back down it again, you can. I probably will just kind of loosely work my way back down again just to make sure it's tight. I don't want it to come undone. So I'm just doing the same thing right back down again. Once you make it back down, all I'm doing is kind of just weave it in my tails here at the seam so I can clip them off. So that's what it looks like. And now you can flip it right side out and you should have a pretty clean seam, I guess. Let me look, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. That looks pretty good. Okay, and that is the hood part is made now. Nice clean seam. Now I'm going to be working around the whole piece with rounds of single crochet. So I'm going to be going around the hood and all the way down the sides and around this bottom and back up this side back to where I started. And I'm going to do several rounds, but I'm going to be putting some buttonholes too, so I can button up the sides. So, let me find my crochet needle that I was using. My little boy probably took off with it. He sneaks in here sometimes and runs off with my stuff. Okay, I found it. <clears throat> and yes, he took off with it. <laughs> He's pretty sneaky. Okay, now you can start anywhere that you want, but you want to start with the uh, good side facing you. That way the 
right side of the stitches will be where we're going to be shown. So I'm just going to start, probably just start down here. Now when you're going up the long sides, it's going to be kind of hard to tell where the stitches go because you're working on the sides of these double crochets. So just kind of evenly space them out, your single crochets the best that you can. But just go ahead and start right here, somewhere down here in this vicinity. And I'm going to start off by doing a chain one. And now I'm just going to work my way up this whole side, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And like I said, working on the sides of these doubles, you're not really going to be able to tell where the stitches go that well. So just kind of space them the best that you can. Like that and work it all the way up this long side so I'm working my way up this long side here with my row of single crochet and now I'm just going to keep going around the hood with single crochet cleaning up all these edges all around the hood and then I'm going to make it I'm going to go all the way back down the other long side and then down around the bottom and I'll be back at my starting point. I went down my other long side and I'm getting ready to go across the bottom here. And what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and do three single crochets in the corner. That way it helps it round the corner out a little better. So put three in the same corner stitch. Like that. And then you're going to just continue across the bottom here. You should be able to see the bottom stitches a little bit better. Putting one single crochet in every stitch. You can see that just makes the corner look a little bit neater. And finish that all the way to here's where I started. And make sure you put three in the corner over here. Okay, I made it back to my starting point here. I put three single crochet in that corner. And I'm back here where I started. Let me look here. Oh. What you want to do is I'm going to be working another round of single crochet. So I'm just going to use a stitch marker. Put it right here. So I know where I end and where I begin. That way I don't have to keep uh, slip stitch in and end in my row each time. I can just continue around. So I'm just going to kind of put that there just to so I know. And now I'm just going to jump over to that first uh, single crochet or the chain one. I think we did a chain one. And single crochet in it. Like that and now I'm just going to continue around again putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way around again until I get back to my starting point again so it'll be easier to see this time because you're just going through these this row of single crochet so I'm going to go all the way up this long side all the way around the hood all the way back down the other long side across the bottom and back to my starting point just like we just did. Just like this. And then when we get back around I'll, we'll start forming the buttonholes. And when you get over here to the corner of the second row that we're working on a single crochet um, on the previous stitch where we put three single crochet in the corner, in the middle one, 
second of the third one that we did, you want to put three in that one, like that, and then just continue around, putting one single crochet in every stitch. If you can't really tell, it doesn't have to be exactly be that one, but that just helps the corner lay flat by putting a few more stitches in it. So go ahead and finish the, it off here. One single crochet in every stitch across the bottom, and don't forget to put three single crochets in that corner stitch until you get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it back to the beginning, you just want to pull your stitch marker out and move it up. And then we'll start again by single crocheting into the next stitch. But, and we'll keep going, but I'm going to mark off some buttonholes. So I'm going to kind of pull my yarn up so it doesn't come undone. So I know where to start again. And I'm going to grab some buttons and I'm going to show you how to mark off some buttonholes here real quick. So I'm going to lay my piece out. You're going to need some stitch markers. I just use yarn then. So I kind of fold it up, you can see, this is kind of how it's going to be. Now you can kind of adjust it to whatever size you want, but I'm going to kind of do it, I'm going to count by row since the single crochet, since we kind of just guessed about where they went, yours might be, you might have a different number than me. So I'm going to fold mine at here starting with the, a row, the first row, a double crochet, not counting this single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. About the twentieth row um, I folded. So from here down is about twenty rows of crochet, of uh, double, the double crochet of these double crochet rows. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. You can do more or less. It's completely up to you. If you feel like it needs to be bigger, I'll go ahead. But to mark off the buttons, I'm kind of just going to take them and lay them out. Just, I'm just going to eyeball them. I'm not going to have a, like, I'm going to kind of use the rows as markers too. So I know one needs to go up in each corner. And then I'm going to skip. So I'm going to put we're working on the row of single crochet, like right here. So I know one needs to go in a corner of each side, like that. And now I'm going to count down my row. I'm gonna. You can space them as as much as you want. You know how it, however many rows you want to put between them. That is completely up to you. But and you can kind of see how I did mine. I'm just eyeballing it. I got one four rows in between each of my buttons. That's how I did mine. But if you have bigger buttons, you may not need as many buttons as I have. So I got five buttons and I'm going to do that on each side. And I'm going to mark off the spots. So that's kind of how it's going to look. So I'm going to have buttons, the same buttons on each side. And remember, you can space them more or less. It's that's up to you. I just did the four rows in between mine, so it came out even. Now, to mark them off, all I'm going to do is I just laid them out here, so I know a button needs to go up here in the corner. So I'm going to put a stitch marker up here in the corner. Even with this top row, even with this first row of double crochet. So I'm kind of just going to mark it off. Now it doesn't have to be in the exact same spot as mine. So don't worry about it. Just kind of mark it off there. Like that. And then, like I said, I, I put four um, rows in between each of my buttons. So here's my next one. And I'm just going to put it on the line, the row here. Here's my countdown. One, two, three, four rows in between. So 
So I'm just going to kind of put a stitch marker right about here, even with this row of double crochet. I'm sorry if it's confusing, but please don't be like, don't stress out about it being perfect because it definitely does not have to be perfect at all. It's not going to be. So count down again. Put one here, even with this row. So right here, just put a stitch marker in that single crochet. And then again. Do that and mark them all off all the way down. And then once you get them all marked off, all you do is slide over here to the other side. And do the same thing. Just, But all I do is I just follow the stitch marker. Like here's my stitch marker. It's on this row of double crochet. I kind of just follow that row over. And I know a stitch marker needs to go right here. And it will be on the same spot as this one over here. So that's how I do mine. But, and then I'll see my next stitch marker is right here. Just follow the row, the line of the double crochet that the stitch markers, that the stitch markers on, like right here. Follow it over. And then right around here, you know you need to have another one to match the other side. So you want to make sure you have however many buttons you have on one side you have on the other. Okay, once you get it marked off, you can see I got it, I got it marked off. You can count and make sure you have like close to the same number of stitches in between each button on each side if you want. I'm not going to because I just eyeballed it. It's not going to be perfect. So I think I got it pretty close by just following the lines over. So <clears throat> now I'm just going to kind of pick up where I left off. My stitch marker is going to kind of count as the buttonhole for the top corner here. So I'll show you how we're going to form the buttonholes. Okay. Kind of pick up where I left off. Here's my stitch marker. Gonna pull out the stitch. Okay, here's the stitch marker right here. What I'm gonna do is move it and I'm gonna do a chain of two. One, two. Now I'm gonna skip two stitches, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next one. Like that. And that's gonna be a buttonhole. So now I'm going to single crochet up until I get to this next stitch marker. One single crochet in every stitch. Go ahead and single crochet in the stitch that has the stitch marker chain two, skip two, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. And then you can take that stitch marker out, and there's another buttonhole. So that's kind of how all the buttonholes are formed. So I have to keep picking my camera up and moving it. I don't have a lot of desk space. So now I'm going to continue down again until I get to my next stitch marker with one single crochet in every stitch go ahead and single crochet in the stitch with the stitch marker chain two skip two skip skip single crochet into the next and then you can take that out and we're going to do this all the way down the, well, the side. Only have however many buttons you did down this side. 
I only have a couple more buttonholes on this side. But I'm going to continue to make the buttonholes just like I've been doing. Once you get all the buttonholes done on this one side, you just want to continue around your whole piece like we were doing with a row of single crochet and then all along the hood just like before, all the way down the long side and then you'll make it back up over here to the other side and you just do these buttonholes in the same way as you did the other side and then back across the front single crochet. And then back to where you started, over here to the very first buttonhole. Okay, I've made it all the way around and I did the buttonholes on my other side right now. And now I'm at the corners again. I'm not going to put three single crochets in each corner stitch. I'm just going to put one single crochet in, in it, each of the corners just this time around. So just one in each of them. And then I'm just going to continue around putting one in each of these until I get back to my starting point. Just like that. Okay, once you make it back to your beginning, we're going to do one more round of single crochet. What we're going to do is, so every time you get to a buttonhole, we're going to put two single crochets straight through the hole. So just go right through there and put one and two. And then you just continue working your one single crochet in every stitch till you get to your next buttonhole. right here and just go straight through it put two single crochets in it so there's one two and then continue around again one single crochet and every stitch until you get to your next buttonhole so we're doing the same thing that we've been doing going around but every time we get to a buttonhole we're going to put two single crochets in its spot and you can see that's what you'll have. So I'm going to go around my whole piece again until I get back to the beginning. One single crochet in every stitch, but two single crochets in each of the buttonholes. Now once you make it all the way back around, all you want to do is a slip stitch into your first single crochet. And you make it back around to the beginning. And then you can tie that off and hide that tail. We're almost done. I'll hide that tail in a minute. But now what we want to do is take our piece and kind of fold it up how we had it. And now we're going to sew the buttons on. And all I'm going to do to sew the buttons on is with a regular needle and thread. And you just sew them on anyway. You know, just how you sew buttons on. You don't want to sew them on like right here is my first buttonhole. I'm just going to kind of sew it on underneath here and line it up with the buttonhole. So I'll sew it there. And then I'll find my next buttonhole, which is right here. And I'll just get it lined up to where I want it sewed on and I'll go through. Sew it there. And I'm going to do that all the way down. Sew it here on both sides and get them all sewed on. Okay, I got all my buttons sewed on and I uh, buttoned it together. One last thing I did is I just put like a tassel thing on the top or you can put a pom-pom or you don't have to put anything but those are really easy to make. If you look on YouTube, there's a bunch of people that show you how to make these if you don't know how. And I just sewed it on up here with at the corner with the yarn needle. But again, that's not anything that you have to do. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I might put a liner in it before I bring my let my baby wear it, but that's all. Um, I don't think it was too hard. I hope you're able to follow along okay and make it. If you make this or any other crochet item, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a link on my Facebook page or post a picture on my Facebook page. I'll post a link to my Facebook page in the description box below. And until next time, have a good day.